so we are going to uh, model the ring pop first, right? So I'm going to, well, we can do two separate things from that one, but I think we just need really the the crystal part, the ring part, right? So I'm going to delete the cube here. So we're going to model the ring pop. It's an octagon, so that will be from a cylinder. And then we will lower all these things until we get the eight sides that we need right so I'm gonna hit tab select the polygon here but before that let me turn on screencast again it keeps turning off okay so I'm gonna scale this part okay and just kind of base it on the photo right here and uh, extrude and I think it's done let me lower that a bit okay so that's kind of like the the gem part uh, let me take a look at the top pretty much it's flat right okay so what we can do with this is first uh, we want to add bevel so that you keep sort of like a because it's a ring pop it's not like a diamond where those cuts are very precise right so what we need to do here is go to object apply because uh, if you go to value here um, we haven't really scaled it, but let's do that anyway. Just good practice. All transform, okay? So what I want to do is select all the edges. So I'm going to press A while in edge selection. Right click and then bevel edges. So by beveling the edge, it just kind of creates this, you know, kind of like as if it's a crystal type thing, right? So let's see if that would actually look good. Uh, I'm going to right click shade smooth it and then let me turn on auto smooth. Mm, 30 degrees didn't quite work. Maybe 60. All right, so 60 would act okay. I think that would work right there. Okay. So uh, the uh, ring part, let, let's also create that just the shield just so that we see the reflection kind of bounce off it. I also do want to cover, if you want multiple of these, like mostly in commercials, they have so many of this ring pop, and you don't want to be creating uh, certain uh, characters or settings on your material each time you need to make a new one, okay? So let's uh, just add a simple mesh cylinder right here. And we do want that at 32. We want it fairly smooth. Okay, so I'm going to go one right here and just scale it and scale it down so that uh, that's oh, maybe around that much. Okay, so and then we'll just kind of lower that where that thing is attached. Okay, and uh, we're going to shade smooth this. We're going to auto smooth it also and let's uh, select out click the entire uh, ring right there add selection shift alt click to select the other one okay so in order to select that alt hold down alt and then click it shift alt click you get both and on this one let me see uh, let's uh, re uh, uh, it has scale value that got changed so let's make sure apply scale object apply scale and i'm in object mode reset those values so that when we do our bevel we're not going to have any issue all right like so and then probably add a few segments there just to kind of keep it uh, smooth looking all right so let's go to our shader okay so um we can just do it here in the layout so i'm going to go here to uh the uh, shader kind of and you so I will give it um, I will turn on uh, on my uh, EV setting also ambient occlusion bloom and screen space reflection just so that all the minimum uh, for our mod, uh, rendering will be in there okay all right so let's select the plastic part first so this the this is the easy part so I'm gonna go here to my shader tab give it a new one right so we're gonna call this one plastic uh, we're going to call it yellow, okay? So we're going to make this into plastic, 
which is super easy base color that yellow right there and then maybe make it a little bit more shiny by dragging the roughness okay so we kind of see the reflection all right so that's done now let's go to this one so I'm gonna click new all right and uh, what we want from this is simply uh, activate certain things that would show transparency so in order to show transparency on this one uh, let's first give make it kind of really shiny all right so it has that kind of glass look but it looks like porcelain right now right so here we're gonna click on our transmission so that goes all the way up so by doing that it has that kind of glass look to it okay and you see the alpha right here the alpha is what gives it a transparency okay but you're not gonna see any of that yet simply because the blend mode here under settings are not yet set so we go to blend mode we go here to alpha blend okay by giving it an alpha blend of course we get to see all those faceted ones so that's probably was a bad idea when we added those but uh, let's keep going and then here we're gonna go with help alpha clip for the shadow mode we're going to turn on screen space reflection and then turn on finally back face culling okay back face culling just so that you don't get the inside um, I mean you will see transparency but it will omit those things so all right so the alpha now is what we're talking about before okay uh, index of refraction we'll, we can probably mess with that later to kind of uh, index of refraction refraction simply means that phenomena that you see uh, you know in the glass would that it distorts the image you've probably seen that uh, in more pronounced let's say on uh, snow globes how it kind of creates this kind of kind of like a lens mode inside the glass right so I'm gonna go with alpha first so when we turn down alpha a little bit it gives it that transparency you see it and this on alpha blend let me try alpha hash right here nope because you see those uh, alpha blend we're gonna keep uh, so alpha gives it a transparency okay right there okay and then what we can do is um, image of refraction we can increase that or decrease depending on the effect that you want say so by default actually works fairly well but let's just kind of alter it a bit so that we get a little bit more streaking on some of the sides. Okay, so there's that. And um, I probably would want to, uh, let, me, uh, let me just do this real quick, folks. Uh, I want to lower this a little bit. So I'm going to scale it just so that it, it becomes a little bit more jewel-like. all right so there's that okay and then if we want to give it a color of course we go to our base color let's say this thing is going to be green okay so um, of course you can control all this with you know changing the roughness a bit so you want probably something like that not to uh, and alpha not to uh, just light there you go so it gives it a little bit more volume okay so there's that so yeah and uh, if you watch the video that's a little bit more uh, the video lesson it's a little bit more specific for like diamonds and uh, glass and whatnot but this kind of falls into that kind of category so here we go so that kind of gives it that look so now how do we get multiple copies of this without altering the uh, the color over and over so what I'll do with this is um, select the two together like so and then I'm simply going to duplicate this multiple times okay so shift D uh, let's put one in here shift D uh, another one here all right so the issue here is like when you're multiplying this and then you go okay I'm going to change this yellow right here uh, and to a different color 
once you do that everything else follows right your trap so let's click and do so what you can do is it says plastic yellow right here what you want to do is make this unique okay so basically make a copy of new material out of it so if you click this icon here it looks like two pages when you do that it made a copy of it it's not called plastic yellow now it's plastic yellow zero zero one so if you actually change the name of this one let's call this plastic yellow red if I can only spell and then change the color to red and as you can see it's preserved so you got a new color okay and then they all fall down over here and you can see them okay so uh, let's now select this one and so this one is uh, let's say green the original one right right there so if I want to change it to a different color I click this make a copy or new material it leaves all the settings that we did so you don't have to keep starting to get that same look you're just simply changing the name so I don't know what I'm gonna call this one uh, let's say blue change the base color to blue and there you have it and we'll do the exact same thing here call this one uh, purple oh undo my bad uh, let's make it a new object first oh yeah it's already okay so let's get it a purple and call it a purple okay and this one plastic yellow make it unique all right and then we're gonna call this one I don't know uh, black all right so there you have it we're able to create the ring pop and kind of give it that crystal glossy look of it okay all right so and that's how you multiply or duplicate a material so that you can change it you can change the base color while keeping all the uh, all the settings that you have set already so they all have the same roughness same uh, IOR same transmission same alpha and all your settings right here would be kept and you're just changing color all right, so that's the first lesson. Now we're going to do the next one.